So in this video I'm going to show you how I do my makeup when my allergies are really bad. Obviously allergies are different from person to person. For me it means that my nose is swollen and runny and red and my eyes are puffy and sometimes even inflamed. So what I'm going to do is try to draw attention to the other parts of the face um, like the cheeks and the lips. So if you want to see that then keep watching. I didn't know we were in the information society. I'm starting off with my NYX Pore Filler Primer and I'm putting this in my T-zone, mainly focusing on my nose to make it appear smaller because when I have bad allergies it gets swollen so I want it to not be as obvious. Now I'm taking my NYX Full Coverage Concealer and I'm putting this under my eyes to make the under eyes appear a lot brighter. And as you can see, I'm using my index finger to put it on. Um, I'm doing this because I had some of the primer on my middle finger, but I definitely recommend using your middle finger because it's a lot easier to control, which is why I'm switching from my index finger to my middle finger. And I'm blending the concealer in with my beauty sponge. And I'm applying some concealer to the side of my nose to make it appear slimmer. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. I'm applying this under my eyes and on some spots on my face, but also uh, around the nose to make it seem less red. First I'm blending this with my fingers and then I'm going in with my beauty sponge once again. For a powder I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte powder in the shade 00 Transparent. And with this I'm going to set my concealer as well as mattify the T-zone. I'm also going to put this where I'm later going to put my bronzer, just so that my bronzer gets easier to blend. I'm using the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick in the shade 02 Medium as like a shimmery bronzer because Obviously, this is way too dark for me to use as a highlighter. And as you can see, I'm just blending this out with my finger. Then I'm just going in with the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in the shade Light. I believe. And I'm applying this both to my brow bone and also to the inner corners of my eyes to really make this stand out. Now I'm picking up my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette and I'm gonna use this matte shade for bronzer. And other than applying it to my cheekbones as well as the perimeter of my forehead, I'm also gonna apply it to my neck just so that um, it matches the color of my face. And I'm just gonna apply some of the bronzer in my crease as well. Now I'm gonna pick up the blush shades in the palette and I'm applying the blush to my cheeks as well as the perimeter of my forehead and my crease. Now it's time for the powder highlights. First I'm gonna apply the bottom shade with a brush. Then I'm applying the lightest highlighter shade with my fingers. And for the brow bone and the inner corners, I'm just applying both shades with my finger. And to make my eyes seem less puffy, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna skip mascara just because Sometimes my eyes are inflamed and you definitely don't want to get that bacteria into the mascara bottle. And for lips, I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Euro Trash. I don't normally wear lipstick on an everyday basis, so this is a good way to draw attention to my lips rather than whatever allergic reaction I have going on. To set my makeup, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. 
And as you can see, I'm just dabbing the setting spray into my skin so that it sets even better. And lastly, I'm just going in with a little bit more powder to make my skin more matte again. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope it helped you. If you, like me, some days just wake up and your allergies are just... They're horrible. <laughs> so we um, Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.